Welcome back to the morning wrap. Christmas less than a week away. Can you believe it? I'm stressed out now just thinking about that. And you might be feeling that holiday stress. So to help us push through is our guest today, Dr. Tamika Henry, founder of the Unlimited Health Institute. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. This is my time of year. Yeah, I know, huh? A lot of people are probably messaging you like, what do I do? You were here a couple months ago, though. Definitely, I was here. Another stressful time for people. <laughs> <laughs> Just all about stress here. Um, we do want to specialize or talk about how you specialize in functional medicine. So how does that differ from traditional medicine? Just think of it as if you <clears throat> consider traditional medicine as like going just at the surface, right? Mm -hmm. Functional medicine gets down beneath and says, why do you have this problem in the first place? And so what are we going to do about it? We're not just going to give a pill for every ill. We're going to find out what's the why behind it. How did you get here in the first place? Well, that is a great question that we all want an answer to. So the holidays, we know, can be really stressful. I feel like here at work, I'm seeing people run around, getting their gifts, on the phone, yeah. doing a bunch of different stuff. So how can we work through that where we actually have time to enjoy the holidays instead of being so stressed out about them? First and foremost, stay in the moment, right? We're so caught up in, oh, what am I going to buy? The cookies burnt, the pot roast not coming out correctly, or um, there's too many people coming over and I don't have enough food. Well, we know you never run out of food. So stay in the moment and practice what I like to call G and G, grace and gratitude. Mm -hmm. We're so quick to extend that to other people, mm -hmm. but we don't extend it to ourselves. So G and G and stay in the moment. So when we say stay in the moment and do the G and G, how do we actually get ourselves to do that? Because I feel like you can say it as many times out loud as possible, but it won't sink in. You need to stop. Like I get up and tell people change positions, you know, like, oh my gosh, you know what? I need to stop. Like you had to get some water earlier. Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> stop. I'm like it's okay. I was forced to stop. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't stop yourself, your body will make you stop. Oh, it will definitely mm -hmm. stop you one way or another. And it will come at the least uh, an expected moment, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, by the way, and I gotta go right now. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> So let's talk about the fitness goals because Ooh. I feel like a lot of people might be eating a little differently, you know, with Thanksgiving and then Christmas and New Year. So then trying to get back on track is really tough. Well, I would say this start with um, planning for it in the sense that, like, you know what, I'm going to go to these different parties, but maybe I'll eat before so I can stay on track so I'm not ravenous when I get there. Mm -hmm. The other thing is movement, right? Don't pick up something that's so difficult. Stick to something that's simple. Like, if you like dancing, then dance. If you mm -hmm. like singing, then put a little move with it. Ooh, so I, look at that. I'm telling you, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I think people forget. They get caught up in the TikTok trends, mm -hmm. the Instagram trends, the Facebook trends. What do you like? Do you? Well, and I think that's great advice, especially because, hey, those um, Zumba classes, those are really fun. Oh, I... <laughs> those are really fun. Oh, you I know you got some moves. I got some moves. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, our next topic is quite fitting because my throat is still a mess. Cold season, mm -hmm. everyone is getting sick. Um, how do we... I feel like you get to the point where you just run yourself down and oh. your body tells you, hey, you got to slow down. So, again, you're forced to. But what can we do to make sure we're you know, putting the right things in our body, we're recovering well. So I would say first and foremost, listen to your body, you have to rest. My grandmother would say something like this, get somewhere and sit down, which means <laughs> <laughs> let your body heal because mm -hmm. the body gets better when we rest. Mm -hmm. Number two, you have to hydrate. Hydration, <clears throat> push out all the toxins and mm -hmm. so forth. Um, and if you're someone who's into supplements and vitamins, vitamins A, vitamin C, vitamin D are great to boost the immune system. And my favorite, this is my hack, my favorite is something <clears throat> called Cold Calm. It's a homeopathic remedy that's over the counter. The minute you feel that like tickle in the throat, mm -hmm. the runny nose, you're like, am I getting sick? Cold Calm. Oh, so too late for me. Just, you're a little late. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Okay, so obviously um, when the holidays are here, we are a little stressed out. Mm -hmm. um, when all of that is said and done, when the holidays are, are gone, they're over, how do we just bounce back in general, just f flat? I would say first and foremost, breathe, right? Mm -hmm. None of us are perfect. Start with something as simple as, okay, I'm going to start with 10 minutes of, is it a workout where you walk, you hike, you bike? Something simple, you know, when things hurt, people don't continue to do them. So keep it simple, mm -hmm. maybe 10 minutes in the morning. And let's say you're stressed out at work, do a little bit of 10 minutes there. And when you get home and you look at the kids, you're like another 10 minutes. So that's 30 minutes total. So something very simple. This is great. So when you go out and about, what's your go to to alleviate stress? Oh, I'm a hiker oh, and yeah? a biker. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yes. Both. Look yes. at you. Are you one of those mountain bikers that I'll see just like zoom right by me when I'm hiking? No, I would do cycling. Bi okay. Mountain biking is a whole nother level. <laughs> oh, is that you in the video? Yes. Look, you're so stylish. I try to be. Try not to wear as much black. <laughs> 
I love it. You know, I go hiking on a, a pretty regular basis, so I'm with you on that. The biking, though, I never got into. Oh. It's hard. Well, I would say this. It's something that's good for your health, right? It, it helps is. with your mm -hmm. uh, cardiovascular health. It can help with your blood sugar, your blood pressure, your cholesterol. It's social, and it's one of the things I love about it. It's one of the most inviting communities. So if mm -hmm. you've never biked before, if you're new to biking, or you're just getting back into it, try cycling. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much for all the advice. I feel like we're all going to be very uh, relaxed for the holidays instead of stressed out. Definitely. <laughs> we're going to put all the tips up on our website, kcomnews.com slash the morning wrap.